So it's a beautiful sunny day here at Stonehaven, Sunday. Listen to that. There's nobody else here. <laughs> I get a day by myself. <laughs> but I've been told I got some things to do. So the Minister of Recreation and Finance has told me that she wants three or four raised garden beds out in the yard. So, my task today is to see what I can get done, so stay tuned. So here we are out in the shop. I'm going to get going on these raised garden beds today. Uh, as you can see, I got some shit to move, so I got some room to work. It's a beautiful day outside. You can see the sun shining out there. My best buddy and friend is out there barking up a storm. I'm not sure what he's after, but he's out there. So today, what we're going to be doing is building four of those, or three more. So uh, I did build one last weekend, and the purpose of that build uh, was to uh, just figure it out. Anyways, I was able to do that. Uh, kind of come up with a pattern at the same time. Um, pattern requires cutting a lot of wood the same way. And yes, the engineer in me, you gotta have a plan. So here's the plan. Bunch of dimensions, bunch of, uh, uh, I'll call it a bill of materials, so what I need to do to build it, um, and everything else. What I also did yesterday in prep of this, because I found it took a lot of time, obviously, and I like to speed things up because that's just in my nature. So in order to speed things up, you measure a board, you cut a board, you measure a board, cut a board. So what I've done here is I've actually created a, uh, you'll see it on the floor here and I'll hook it up in a minute. I've actually created a jig for attaching to my chop saw so that uh, the cutting can go a lot faster. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. Here's the jig, pretty simple, made out of you know, one two by four on end, one two by two nailed to the bottom of it or screwed into the bottom of it. And that just creates, uh, for lack of a better term, an easy way to do uh, cut multiple boards that are common lengths. In the interim here, you'll see that I've just marked on here with felt marker, you know, two feet, three feet, slightly under that board is four feet, there's five feet. I will get a, probably try to get a dollar store tape measure that I can tear apart and actually nail down to that board and make it easy for measuring. What I did again, I know guys, I'm no master at these things, but it freaking works, so so what? That channel is actually a channel from a uh, bifold door. Uh, I tore two of them apart so that I could utilize basically the mechanism that usually holds the door in place. So by screwing that down and screwing that one down it locks this block into place that I've created here and again it's just fairly simple so I can slide this thing basically anywhere I want right now if I want to lock it down you know at three feet we can lock it down I simply just take a, a quick screw tighten those up and that doesn't move it is actually solid and secure then simply by coming over here, I run my board, tuck it up against my fence, run my board out till it hits the block, chop away. So as you can see with those deck boxes, I have quite a number of boards to cut that are common lengths. This will definitely speed this up rather than pulling a tape measure out every time and doing this. I don't actually have a proper chop saw set up in the shop, so this one gets moved around. This works great. Again, just made from a bunch of crap I found in my shop. Fairly simple. Here's my helper for today. I'm not sure how much help he'll be, but he is uh, fun to have around. So similar to the uh, firewood storage boxes that we built a few weeks back, Here's the supply of wood for the uh, garden boxes. Uh, from the one that I built uh, about two weeks ago, it takes almost one entire pallet 
to make one of those deck boxes. So I want to make two more here today. I'm going to tear these two pallets apart and uh, see how far I can get. back here now as you can see pallets are gone where did they go there they are there nicely stacked piles I have oh what do I have about 38 pieces of uh, six foot two by fours and 13 pieces of eight foot two by fours so that should be enough to do these two uh, deck uh, garden boxes Stay tuned, we will start cutting and assembling soon. Where's my helper? I thought I had a helper here. Okay, here we are again. Here's my helper. Now he's saying he's gonna commit to cutting that big pile of wood into something that can look like that. So I'm gonna go away for a little while and see uh, what he can do. Wait, hey, where are you going? Get back here. Aren't you supposed to cut this wood? Okay, here we are at the chop saw. I'm gonna do my uh, four foot pieces first. So I'm setting up, setting up the guide. I'm locking it into place. This should give me exactly four feet. That is not going anywhere. So, let's check this out. Board let's see how we're doing here. Lock it under place. We are exactly four feet. So, I can go ahead and cut my 10 pieces of four foot length. Now, that's 10 pieces for each of the planter boxes. So I'm gonna need uh, 20 of them. So here we go. So, not sure if you guys can see this. So I'll try to get it in there. What we need to cut for the sides, there's 10 pieces of four foot two by four for the ends, eight pieces of two foot two by four for the legs, eight pieces of two by four three feet, and for the bottom, 12 to 13 pieces, two foot long, two by fours. So here we are, off to the chop saw. Let's see what we can get done. Okay, here we have it, guys. The cutting is all done. We have 10 four foot pieces for the sides, eight pieces for each of the legs so there's 16 there eight pieces for the end so there's two enough for two there and here there's enough uh, I, I think I cut 27 28 and I only need about uh, 26 but there's a couple extras so there you have it everything is now cut that took probably I don't know 15 20 minutes to cut all those uh, wasn't long at all compared to having to measure every time you had to make a cut so awesome that it took some time to make that jig it works and uh, also planning that when she gets the three that she wants she probably want more so now i got a pattern so i do want to take a pause for a moment as i said i have the one side built i'm going to build the other three sides before i start putting them all together but i just wanted to update you on my little helper who seems to be quite comfortable sleeping under the truck. Yeah, 
have to talk to HR about that one. Okay, here we are back at it again. I have fully constructed all eight legs. Just put together in a simple L pattern, as you can see here. There's four from one set. Here's four from another. And then I've gone one step further and I've built this sidewall. So the sidewall, as you can see, is just four two by fours stacked in there. Boom, 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 boom. And then one laid across the bottom. So that one across the bottom will become the frame to hold all the, I guess it's the truss that'll hold all the other two by fours for the bottom of the of the bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build all four sides because that's kind of the structural component and then I'll infill it with the two foot uh, depth and the body. So okay so here we go as I mentioned two sides of the one uh, bin are built. Now we can infill it with these uh, two foot pieces. set them in place and then I can square it up. Sorry that my back is clean. I'll try to do it the other way around. There you have it. So we'll just be infilling those, squaring them up as we go. As we mentioned, we got four on each side and then uh, 13 in the middle. And outside of that, it's just nail them all together. slightly too tight. And I'll go from there, one screw in each one of these boards. Then it's just the top piece that miters a nice finish as you see on this one. That's all that's left to do on both of these and we will have three garden boxes. <laughs>
right, there you have it. We've completed three of the raised garden beds. We'll go put them in place, see how they look, see if the Minister of Recreation and Finance wants four, and uh, go from there. But uh, see you next time on Stonehaven Shorts.